Hello everyone. Okay, a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Did you know that people back in the day, if you think about it, they had to literally catch their own food if they wanted a meal. Get him, get him. Come on, what's the matter with you? Get him. Pick him up. Now it gets delivered right to our doorstep. I love that I don't have to go to the grocery store as often. I love that they help me stay on track with simple meals and it cuts down my meal prep time significantly. So tonight we are making homestyle chicken biscuit pot pie. Super excited. Let's do it. The holidays can be a stressful time, but HelloFresh helps keep things simple with recipes, ingredients that cut out grocery shopping and limit meal prep time so you can spend more of the season with friends and family and popcorn in bed. They offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup meals, and low prep options. Okay, that meal was truly delicious. Everyone loved it, as like everything I've made from HelloFresh. So if you wanna use my code, you can go to hellofresh.com, use my promo code popcornabed 16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. The link will be in the show notes. I hope you use it. Okay, let's watch a movie. Hello, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Carly has joined me. We've got the popcorn, we've got the bed, we've got the movie, and we are watching Field of Dreams. <laughs> she had to look at the title <laughs> up there. On our YouTube bracket, this won the sports mm. conference. Interesting. I do have to mention that previously, Ford versus Ferrari and Rocky won on my Patreon bracket. Is Ford versus Ferrari sports movie? Yeah, race car. -y. Have you not seen it? No, I've seen it. Oh, but I just didn't know that it was a sports movie. You just upset a lot of people. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I loved Rocky. I loved Ford versus Ferrari. But so did you hate it too? Ford versus Ferrari? Oh, yeah. yeah. I bawled my eyes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't care what the She obviously true doesn't story. watch my reactions. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care if it's a true story. You changed the ending. Oh my gosh. You it, give us a happy ending. It wrecked me. That, I felt the same way. I was like, going to bed that night. I was still kind of like deeply heartbroken. Yeah. yeah. This is baseball, which is probably the sport. Well, no, I knew nothing about race car driving or boxing. So never mind. Um, We played volleyball and <laughs> soccer. Okay. But I have seen some baseball movies that I've liked. I've really liked all the baseball movies I've seen. Which so, are? The one with when he breaks his arm. Oh, the rookie? Yeah. <laughs> rookie of the year. And then, oh, Angels in the Outfield. Oh, that's the one I'm thinking of. Oh. What's Rookie of the Year? Or he like breaks his arm and then it's like super fast. Oh. I think there's another Rookie of the Year. There's something with Rookie in it. Yeah, Dennis Maybe Quaid. Maybe it's just Rookie. There's Rookie with Dennis Quaid and Rookie of the Year with yeah. Little Boy. Yeah. Anyways, I know Kevin Costner's in it. Do you know who Kevin Costner is? I know the name. I'm wondering if he's like a professional baseball player. I feel like that's usually the bit. I think he builds a baseball field. Oh, the quote. Yeah. If yeah. they build it, they will come. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Does yeah, that yeah, ring a bell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, without further ado, <laughs> we go on tangents when we're Yeah, together. we do. <laughs> Let's get started. Field of Dreams. Wait, we can talk about this blanket. Do we need to? Oh my gosh. Yeah, someone sent us these blankets and they're amazing. I feel like I'm sleeping in heaven. <laughs> like I'm wrapped up in heaven. She's in a relationship with her blanket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can already tell this is gonna have good music. Sports movies always have good music. Yeah. I, this one's gonna hit me in the feels. You I just think know so? it. Oh. And I'm excited about it. Listen to that. Based on the book, Shoeless oh. Joe. My father's name was John Kinsella. He settled in Chicago where he quickly learned to live and die with the White Sox. Died a little when they lost the World Series. Died a lot when eight members of the team were accused of throwing that series. <gasps> he played in the minors for a year or two, but nothing ever came of it. Mom died when I was three, and I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and the great shoeless Joe Jackson. Oh, Sandlot, the most classic baseball movie. <laughs> when it came time to go to college, I picked the farthest one from home I could find. Aww. Officially, my major was English, but really it was the 60s, and I met Annie. After graduation, we moved to the Midwest and stayed with her family as long as we could. Almost a full afternoon. I got married in June of 74. Dad died that fall. A few years later, Karen was born. She smelled weird, but we loved her anyway. <laughs> I'm about to become a farmer. Oh, cute. I heard the voice. I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. 
We're to love them. Is their baby named Karen? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like that's not like, a baby name. But at the time, they yeah. were all the Karens we know, right? I guess <laughs> They're so. all moms. Is it just me? Are all cornfields very scary? I was just going to say, this one's your signs, and I hate that. Oh. Is that a scary movie? Is this? No. If it is, I'll be so mad. <laughs> There's whispers in a cornfield? But I thought that line was like this big ending. Right. So I'm confused. He's hearing voices. He will come. Yeah. Annie, what was that? Cute house. That voice just now. What was it? We didn't hear anything. This is Kevin Costner? Yeah. Do you I recognize love him. him? Yeah, love him. From what? I don't know. But I really <laughs> like him. What do I know him from? If you go what, who will come? Yes, Great sir. question. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. He said at the beginning, and until I heard the voice, I'd never done anything crazy in my life. Yeah. Karen, honey, if you're finished, go get your book back. Let's go. What hat is she wearing? <laughs> <laughs> She's like kind of quirky, and I yeah. like it. What if the voice calls while you're gone? Take a message. Yeah, he's handsome. <laughs> yeah, he's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is very handsome. Mm -hmm. You're hearing voices? Oh, no, no, it's just that I heard that some farmers do. Who's hearing voices? Ray is. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Noises. Nice talking to you. <laughs> if you build it. All right, that's it. Where the f he will come. I thought for sure he was going to be a pro baseball player. I just have to know who he is. Yeah, who's he will come. Yeah. Like he, capital H, <gasps> like. Oh, oh, he has a vision. Is that his dad? I don't know. Or if he's a baseball player, we're supposed to know. The voice wants him to build a baseball field. That seems pretty easy. What? I don't know. He's gotta take down the cornfield. For a farmer? <laughs> Throw down some dirt and some bases? I never took that, I said. Well, maybe it will someday. It's like a flash forward. Hey, there's more. I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. Why do I not think this is such a good thing? <laughs> if I build a baseball field, Shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. Shoeless Joe Jackson? Like, as in a ghost? will come back and play. Yeah, I don't know. He's still only suspended, right? Huh? He's still dead. Or he suspended him. Did you know Babe Ruth copied his swing? If I did, I'd forgotten it. I'm 36 years old. I have a wife, a child, and a mortgage, and I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. What's your father got to do with all of this? By the time he was old as I am now, he was ancient. He must have had dreams. He may have even heard voices, too, but he sure didn't listen to them. Hey, I'm afraid of that happening to me. And something tells me that this may be my last chance to do something about it. I want to build that field. Do you think I'm crazy? Yes. But I also think if you really feel you should do this, then you should do it. I have chills. <laughs> That's nice of her. Yeah. Because I feel like, like, well, how much is it going to cost? Right? And what tools are you going to use? I'm like, and... uh, those lights? Not cheap. Yeah. What the hell is he doing? Oh, I didn't, yeah, he has to take the corn down. Oh. See, that would be hard as a wife, too, to see him just plowing down your... Yeah. <laughs> he bought a new pair of spikes, and they hurt his feet. He took them off and played the rest of the game in just his socks. The other players called him Shoeless Joe, mm. and their name stuck. He's gonna lose his mom. They don't have anything else to do? They <laughs> just gotta watch him? <laughs> the lights. He's going all out. You gotta, you gotta play under the lights. Bleachers. Nobody could ever prove he did a single thing to lose those games. How do you explain the fact that he hit 375 for the series and didn't commit one error? He can't. He said he's trying to lose. Oh, he was part of the eight players. Mm -hmm. Dad used to say nobody could hit like she was Joe. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you smile when you mentioned your father. I think I love him a little bit. I for sure love him <laughs> a lot of it. I have just created something totally illogical. I like his voice too. It's already done. I thought this would be like the movie. I did too. The field. Oh wow. Field. Yeah, it's a great baseball field. It's pretty, isn't it? Better than just throwing some dirt around. For Holy real. cow. That grass is nice. It's like right there. It's gonna happen out there. I can feel it. Can you let the town little league team play yeah. or like it's a good idea? This is not what I expected Me so neither. far from this movie. Edit that out. <laughs> Daddy, what's a southpaw? I know this one. Left. Good job. Learned that in Rocky. So how bad is it? Considering how much less acreage we have for corn, I say we'll probably almost break even. 
We used up all our savings on that field, Ray. Oh, no. Daddy? Just a minute, Karen. Oh, no. So what are you saying? We can't keep the field? Makes it real hard to keep the farm. Daddy? In a minute, Karen. There's a man out there in the lawn. <gasps> Can she see him? I think so. I was expecting like a floating yeah. angels in the outfield. Oh my gosh, that looked like him. I was so confused like how this is gonna play out though. What are they working I know. towards? Yeah, we're like dealing with the supernatural in a baseball movie. Yeah. And like how is this gonna help him keep the farm? And like what was the point of- Right? Like I was kind of expecting like a past, present, future and Scrooge, like that kind of thing. For the weird baseball glove. Well, yeah, you play softball. Yeah, I did. No words, just okay. Up to left field. <laughs> He's like, <"That's> shame. <laughs> I gotta warm up. It's fine. Sorry. <laughs> I get some out there. That was his position, left field? Mm -hmm. And he's good at hitting. Yeah. Ray Kinsella. Joe Jackson. That it's good to be playing again, huh? Getting thrown out of baseball. I've heard that old men wake up and scratch itchy legs that have been dust for over 50 years. That was me. Oh, yeah. Can you pitch? We're just, are we gonna talk about yeah, how he's dead <laughs> and how he's here? I don't know. He's playing baseball. I'm like, is Ray gonna join the MLB or like? I am pitching to shoeless Joe Jackson. Oh man, he's dead, but still got it. Nice hit. See if you can hit my curve. Oh. <laughs> Put one right here, huh? Right? Yeah. Man, I just love this game. The sounds, the he smells. He didn't it. No, he did not. He loves it. Did you ever hold a ball or a glove to your face? Yeah. Shh. I played for nothing. Sports are the best. It's my family. Hello, meet someone who's been dead <laughs> for 20 years. You can't only stay on the field. Mr. Jackson, this is my wife, Annie, and my daughter, Karen. Ma'am? It's got to feel pretty good. Are like, you a ghost? Yes. That's what we've Great all been wanting. Great question, Karen. What do you think? Yes. You're a to me. Well, then I guess I'm real. Mm. Can I come back again? They were eight of us. You really mean a lot to them. Anytime. They're all welcome here. I just... I know. I'm like, oh yeah, that's so cool, but also, why? And yeah. Hey, is this heaven? It's Iowa. Where's he going? I don't know. I'm glad Annie sees it. Me too. Have to, like... Me too. We're keeping this field. <gasps> that's your ass. <answer. laughs> You're gonna lose your farm, pal. If you sell now, my partners will give you more than fair price. No. no. What are you holding on to this place for? You've no. never liked farming. You don't know the first thing about it. I know a lot about farming. His corn looks pretty good. Yeah. How could you plow onto your major crop? What's a crop? <laughs> How could you What's a crop? Daddy, the baseball game is on. Excuse us. I mean, I'm trying to bail him out and he goes off to watch television. Oh my gosh. He probably, on one hand, wants to show his friends this, yeah. but on the other hand, wants to keep like, it. That can't be real. Oh. And they almost got a full team. How many do they need? Ten, all right? Four in the infield, four in the outfield. Pitcher, back pitcher. You guys want to play ball or what? Muscle bound shirt. At least I got muscles. Well, at most you got muscle. Come on, asshole. Pitch. Nice. Psychic. <laughs> <Bye, kid. laughs> That's okay. Oh, she's so cute. Ray, think about what I said. I'm just trying to help. Can they? I know. Do they not see what's going on? I don't on? think so. There's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. Eight of what? Spin. Oh, interesting. You don't see these people? That's not funny, Annie. <gasps> Gotta believe. It's like just a spirit. That makes me even happier that Annie can see. Not like think he was crazy. Yeah, totally. 68 years since I wore this one arm, so it me like a little. I feel like we need to be asking more questions. I know. <laughs> See you guys. What? What is happening? That is so cool. <laughs> oh no. 
More? Sorry, what? I didn't understand. Who's paying? He needs a vision. Help him out. Maybe they're going to have a son. And he's going to grow up to be a professional baseball player playing on this field. And that's mm. the heat. That'd be oh, fun. That would be cute. Boise. You don't have to build a football field now, do you? <laughs> he said ease his pain. Should we Joe's? I don't think so. But this is a very non-specific Boise out there. And he's starting to piss me off. <laughs> Smut like this has no place in our schools. Oh boy. Nice. <laughs> Terrence Mann is a Pulitzer Prize winner. Yeah, well, I think he's a pervert. Probably a communist, too. What's the name of these people? Springs is like footloose. Yes. You know why he stopped writing books? Because he masturbates. Because <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Terrence Mann was a warm and gentle voice of reason during a time of great madness. If you had experienced even a little bit of the 60s, you might feel the same way too. Well said. I experienced go, girl. the 60s. I think you had 250s and moved right on into the 70s. Well, your husband plowed under his corn and built a baseball field. A weirdo. <laughs> Boo! At least he is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. At least I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. Um, but look how hot he is. Let's put it to a vote. Who's for Eva Braun here? All right. Who's for the Bill of Rights? Come on, let's see those hands. She's fiery. I like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who thinks that we have to stand up to the kind of censorship that they had under Stalin? Oh. She has got the room, mm -hmm. people. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I just figured it out. <laughs> Step outside, you Nazi I know. Give her some. I you're just thinking of it. Right, let her have her moment. Terrence Mann. That's who's paying. The author of the book? I think so. What's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? Yeah, great question. You know what he does now? He writes software for interactive children's videos and teaches kids how to resolve their conflicts peacefully. What an amazing guy. I'm very attracted to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. Wow. The sunglasses. That's a good look for him. Wear yeah. that always. The Berkeley shirt. If that was a baseball fanatic, listen to this. My earliest recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field. Of course, it never happened. They tore down Ebbets Field. I still dream that dream. I mean, the guy has invented a live baseball game since 1958. In order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ball game. In your backyard. Yeah. I'm going to have to nip this one in the bud. You can't take off for Boston while we're going broke in Iowa. I mean, they do have a ghost baseball team. We right? should probably... Like, that's a real thing that's right. happening to them. I understand your need to prove to yourself you are not turning into your father, but you believed in the magic. It happened. Isn't that enough? Well, she can't think building the field and these people showing up is just to prove that he's spontaneous, right. not like his dad. Yeah, there's something else. Mm -hmm. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. Was I sitting on the first base side? Yeah, keeping score. I was eating a hot dog. I had the same ring. Oh. Who the hell are you? It's James Earl Jones. Isn't the guy in Sandlot? My name's Rankin Sutton. Yeah. And he's the voice of Darth Vader. Oh, no way. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, that went well. If I could just have one minute. I can't tell you the secret of life. I don't give interviews. I just want to be left alone. So piss off. Wait, I've come 1,500 miles to see you at the risk of losing my home and alienating my wife. Oh. One minute. He does have a good voice. Yeah, he does. It's so distinct. I wouldn't dream of intruding if this weren't extremely important. How is he going to explain this? I know. This? You once wrote, there comes a time when all the cosmic tumblers have clicked into place. Oh, hey. Back to the 60s. Wait a Back. second. Peace, love, dope. Is that a smoke machine? Yeah. <laughs> does he think he's a ghost? But really, um, I heard a voice in my cornfield telling me to ease your pain, and I think you might be interested in yeah. coming to a baseball game with a bunch of dead baseball players. Is he pretending this is a holdup? That might be too far. You really pissed me off. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to do it this way. What oh. the hell is that? It's a gun. What do you think it is? It's your finger. It's a gun. Well, let me see it. Get out of here. I'm not going to show you my gun. <laughs> now look. I just need you to come with me for a little while and... I'm gonna beat you with a crowbar and then you go away. You can't do that. You're a pacifist! <laughs> What's the deal here? Yeah, get to it. Yeah. You have to 
take you to a baseball game. Something will happen there. My name's Ray Kinsella. You used my father's name for a character in one of your stories. You're seeing a whole team of psychiatrists, aren't you? I'm the least crazy person I have ever known. <laughs> then why are you kidnapping me to a baseball game? May I? Oh, please. <laughs> what? Want a cup of coffee? No. Want some cookies? I think he's being sarcastic. Yeah. I read an interview you gave about how you always dreamed of playing at Ebbets Field and how sad you felt when they tore it down. I never said that. I don't even recall thinking that. Is he lying? Something is so weird. Don't give up. I go through with it. It's a long story. But it's a really good story. I'm not gonna get rid of you, am I? No. On one hand, like, yeah, he's a stranger, but on the other hand, he seems so nice. I I'm know. like, okay, just go with him. Don't you miss being involved? We killed Martin, Bobby, who elected Tricky Dick twice. I must be miserable because I'm not involved in it. But I got news for you. I spent all my misery years ago. I have no more pain left for any of you. No more pain left. So what do you want? I want them to stop looking to me for answers. I want them to start thinking for themselves. And I want my privacy. No, I meant, what do you want? <laughs> Dog in the beer. I'm concerned about the ticket prices for him. I know, me too. I'm like, wait, he's got to save money. His field's way cooler. I mean, this is Fenway. I know, I know. <laughs> but it does. Like the cornfield in the back and the green grass. It's so luscious. <laughs> what does that mean? He's got to take him to his field. What's the matter? She's having a vision. You didn't see that? See what? I'm sorry, I guess you didn't have to be here. Whenever you want to go, we can go. Fine, let's go. No! He doesn't want to enjoy the game? I feel so confused. I know! He might have said he left his pain, but he doesn't look happy. No. He wants privacy, but he seems lonely. What is it you're not telling me? I've already taken up too much of your time. You gotta tell him. It might mean something to him. You got another message, didn't you? you said the man's done enough. No, it didn't. What? It said go the distance. I know, tell him. Terrence. <gasps> Own life, Graham. He's hot. Son, New York Giants, 19 <gasps> He's so excited. Like one game, never got to bed. Did you hear the voice too? Go the distance. Oh my gosh. Do you know what it means? It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. He's in. He's in. We're on a road trip. Hey, Andy, guess what? I'm with Terrence Mann. We're going to Minnesota now. Who's taking care of the farm, though? How are things with you? Fine. Look, Anne, I gotta go. I didn't like how she said fine. It's never fine when mm -hmm. when a woman says fine. <gasps> Why didn't you tell him? Oh, no. Annie, you got no choice in the matter. Wait, what? Is she gonna sell the farm? I don't know. Or are they gonna take it? I don't know. We're looking for an ex-baseball player named Archibald Graham. Oh, I was thinking Why he was gonna Dr. be a ghost. Dr. Graham. Do you know where we can find him? It's nothing bad. We're not from the yard. IRS or anything. Our grave is dead. He is dead. Well, we got a baseball team you can join. Eyeglasses or milk or clothing. No child was ever denied these essentials. We got in the background, there was always Dr. Graham. Without any fanfare or publicity, the glasses or the ticket to the ball game found their way into the child's pocket. Oh, that's gonna make me cry. You're a good writer. Mm. So are you. <gasps> she knows who he mm -hmm. is. Okay, so to be clear, he has told me about the baseball team in his backyard. He always wore yes. an overcoat, he had white hair, and he always carried an umbrella. He said he used it to beat away his lady admirers. Oh. Tell me about his wife. She always wore blue. The shopkeepers would stock blue hats. If Doc walked by, he'd buy one. When they cleaned out his office, they found boxes of blue hats that he never got around to give her. I bet you didn't know that. No, I didn't. That's very sweet. Mm -hmm. I really like this doc guy. Me too. And this guy's growing on me too. Me too. Did you know you're missing? His father notified police after receiving no answer to repeated telephone calls. I better call him. What did I tell him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> she would never sell the farm without telling him first. Well, I'm wondering if they're like behind on their mortgage payments, so that's why she has no choice because they like have to come collect right. or something. Issues. Um, did he just time travel? A little bit of Back to Future action. This is so different. <gasps> the umbrella. You're right. Dr. Graham, my name's Ray Kinsella. I'm from Iowa. And I see dead people. <laughs> it was the last day of the season. We were waiting. And suddenly, old John McGraw points a bony finger in my direction. Grab my glove. And ran out on the field. I like how he just takes this in stride. Yeah. Right? He's like not flipping out. He's just like, yeah. I went back in time. What was that like? It was like coming this close to your dream. And I watched them brush past you like a stranger in a crowd. At the time, you don't think much of it. Back then, I thought, well, there'll be other days. That was the only day. If you could do anything you wanted, if you could have a 
I wish. I never got to bat in the major leagues. Just stare down a big league pitcher. Just as he goes into his wind up. Wait. Make him think you know something he does. That's what I wish for. Man, if you're a baseball player, you love the game. I should because I love all sports. I'm like, oh, I love it. Well, sir, there's a place where things like that happen, and if you want to go, I can take you. This is my most special place in all the world, Ray. What's the place that touches you like this? You feel for it. I figured it was just John. I can't leave just. Maybe he can't leave because he's dead. Right. Like the baseball players can't leave the field. Right. For five minutes, you came this close. It would kill some men to get that close to their dream and not touch it. If I'd only gotten to be a doctor for five minutes, now that would have been a tragedy. Oh. Hmm. I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. <sighs> so now I don't know why in the hell we were supposed to come here. Maybe. It was to find out if one alien can change the world. Did to these people, he got in a hit. I'm gonna stay in baseball. Never became mm. a doctor. Never fed the children. Your wife called her for. She wants you to call her. Call tonight. her. Call her. Right now. Oh no. I talked to the bank and they told me that they had just sold the note on the farm to Mark. Is Mark her brother? I think so. And he says if we don't sell to them, they're gonna foreclose. We don't have the money. I'm gonna take Mr. Mann back to Boston first. No. I'm going to Iowa with you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Y'all are getting good now. Gotta see this bold part. Of course he does. Not everyone can see it. Oh, he'll see it. We need all the karma I can get right now. <laughs> How far are you going? It's okay with you. I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. This kid looks so like innocent too. I'm like, what's going on here? Gang's all here. I'm Archie Graham. Dr. Graham. <gasps> Did he have kids? No, I think... This is like him in the past or something. What happened to your father? He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. So when I was 14, I started to refuse. American boy refusing to have a catch with his father. Why 14? That's when I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, God. That's the kind of crap people always have to lay on me. <laughs> it's not my fault you wouldn't play catch with I, your father. No. I know. I packed my things, said something off, and left. After a while, I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. Oh. Made it back to the funeral. Oh. What was the awful thing you said? That I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. She was Jack. Jack. Joe. Jack. Joe. <laughs> Jackson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the bitch died before I could take it back. I never met my wife. I never saw his granddaughter. This is your penance. I can't bring my father back. So the least you can do is bring back his hero. Now I know what everybody's purpose here is, except mine. What did they say Dr. Graham's first name was? I don't know. Moonlight. Uh, yeah. Maybe it was, I think it's him. Really? Yeah. <sighs> oh. What are they going to do? This is going to help them somehow. Yeah. yeah. Someone's going to have like a hidden will and give him some money. <laughs> Maybe him. No, who that means he has to die? Hmm? Terrence. Well, maybe not hidden will, but like, I don't know. Right. This is Archie Graham. He's going to practice with the team. Well, he's going to be able to do a lot more than that. <laughs> There's so many of them. Yeah. Can you see him? Oh my God. He can see him. He can see him. He can see him too. Uh, I hope you don't mind, but we got tired of just having practices, so we brought another team out with us so we could have some real games. Where'd they come from? Where did we come from? Hey, that's Smokey Joe Wood. The Ty Cobb wanted to play. None of us could stand a son of a bitch when we were alive, so we told him to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Graham? Yes, sir. Well, what are you doing on the sidelines here? You came to play ball, didn't you? I have chills, but I don't know like why, because I don't really know what's happening. Yes, sir. Rookies. <sighs> you think he's a ghost then? Or like whatever. Yeah, but the farm. I know. Maybe Joe Jackson has a hidden will. He's gonna tell him about. <gasps> He's gonna get his <gasps> wish. He's gonna wink. Look how little he is. I know. God, he looks like a baby out there. Who <laughs> yeah. wants to stare down the pitcher? <gasps> oh. What do you throw at the kid for? He winked at me. <laughs> Don't wink, kid. <laughs> Good thing for you, we didn't throw a fastball, kid. To see that fastball. All right, those first two were high and tight. So what do you think the next one's gonna be? Either low and away or in my ear. He's not gonna want to load the bases, so look for low and away. But watch out for in your ear. Come on, Arch. He takes one. That's all he wants. He just wants one. Go, go, go. Where'd he go? But he caught it, didn't he? Yeah, he's out. He still got someone home. Oh. Um. He did it for him. Yeah. And he gets to still be a doctor in the past. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Captain America. He gets to go back. Yeah. And live his life. See, guys? She's a secret <laughs> Marvel fan. Uh oh. I hope he gets hit in the head with a baseball. 
Hi. 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 You're interrupting the game, Mark. She was Joe Jackson. You can't see any of it. We don't have to sell the bombs. Karen, please. Hey, you, you don't, don't talk. talk to her. <laughs> Come. What people, sweetheart? They'll come to Iowa City. They'll think it's really boring. So they'll drive up and want to pass. Why would anybody pay money to come here? To watch the game. I'm sorry, Ray. We got no choice. Listen to Karen. Ray, people will come, Ray. Or he says they can't even fathom. You're turning up your driveway, not knowing for sure why they're doing it. We won't mind if you look around, you say. It's only $20 per person. <gasps> Everything he says sounds like some sort of like vision, you right. know, like just the way he talks. They'll find the reserved seats somewhere along one of the baselines of the set when they were children. Are ghost people coming or real people? Maybe it's like they'll be able to see what they need to see on the field. They'll foreclose. People will come, Ray. You're broke, people will Ray. come, Ray. You sell now or you lose everything. The one constant through all the years has been baseball. America's favorite pastime. It reminds us of all that once was good and it could be again. People will most definitely come. But by, like, tomorrow? I know. <laughs> what does Annie say? Oof. Oh, she looks happy. Annie, there. you sit here and you stare at nothing. Not nothing. And you turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your kid. hands off. Right. <gasps> no, no, no. Should I get the car? He's a doctor. Oh my gosh. Annie, wait. Wait. Oh my gosh. It just got cold. Like, yeah. <gasps> if something happens to Karen. What do we uh, got here? She oh. fell. No, she was dropped. Hot dog. Stuck oh. in the throat. She would be taking hand springs before you know it. He got his one hand. Thank he you, can't sir. play again. No, sir. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, you can't go back. I'm sorry. It's all right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He got his dream. He got his He got both dreams. He got to spend five minutes being a doctor. Good work, Doc. Don't miss you, Doc. Did he see? <gasps> he can see! Okay! <laughs> you were good. Do not sell this farm, Ray. You gotta keep this farm. <laughs> You've had a very rough day. Why don't you go inside and get something cold to drink? I'll sell a farm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call it a day. All right. Do you want to come with us? Him? Come with you? Wait a second. Why him? I built this field. You wouldn't be here right. if it weren't for me. I want to see it. But you're not invited. Oh, no. What do you mean I'm not invited? That's my corn out there. I have done everything I've been asked to do. I haven't once asked what's in it for me. Is that why you did this? For you? There was a reason they chose me. Does I gave an interview. What about Ebbets Field? You lied to me. Well, you were kidnapping me at the time, you big jerk. Well, you lied to me. Is he you said your finger was a gun. Eight people? That's a good point. <laughs> you said your finger was a gun. You're gonna write about it? You better write about it. That's what I do. I thought it meant he had to go to heaven or That's something. That's what I thought, too. And what about the interview? So I thought he was saying he did the interview that, like out of those eight players. No, he's talking about that interview that Ray read about that his dream was to play on Ebbets Field, but then they tore it down. And he said, I never said that. Oh. But he's lied. He did say that. I want a full description. Be careful. He better come back. <laughs> he's happy now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you grinning at, you ghost? <laughs> If you build it, he will come. Who's he, his dad? That is his dad. Oh my god. What? What is it? It's my father. Oh my gosh. This is his pain. Go in the distance. It was you. No, Ray. It was you. Does he know? I think so. I just wanted to thank you folks for putting up this field. I'm John Kinsella. I'm Ray. Right. My wife, Annie. This is my daughter, Karen. Karen, this is my... This is John. Hi, John. Hiya, Karen. We're gonna let you two talk. <laughs> All these people are gonna come. We got a lot of work to do. Very nice meeting you. But are they still gonna foreclose in the morning? Or can Mark now hold them off, maybe? Yeah, maybe Mark can. Can I ask you something? Is this heaven? It's Iowa. I was born in this heaven. Tell him, right? He doesn't know, though, so... I know. But he never got the chance to say sorry. Oh yeah, it's the place dreams come true. Maybe this is heaven. Good night, Good night, John. Dad, you want to have a catch? 
Oh my gosh. I'd like that. Oh. He knows. Yeah. Okay, now we need the people. Yeah. People with the money. Oh, because they can't lose it's okay. this. okay. Everything's going to work out. Right? It has people to. People will come. They already put it out there. People will come. There's the people. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at the line. So fun, yeah. I just got goosebumps. They literally are coming tonight. <laughs> Everything else worked out, didn't it? That was good. But what about Terrence? He's happy. Everything worked out. But did he die? Who knows? <gasps> Everyone kind of got their things resolved. And they're going to save the farm. Mm -hmm. Everything worked out. <sighs> okay. That was so good. It was very sweet. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Entertaining, <sighs> happy ending. It wasn't really a movie about baseball. Yeah, no, and like such a good message. You have what you need. Yeah. Like you just need peace and your family and following your dreams. Mm -hmm. I think also the like, trust and being selfless. Yeah. Like, except for the end, it's like, this wasn't for you. Not like that. But it was, but like, it wasn't the intention. Yeah, and he was his dad. Oh, like, he will come. Mm -hmm. And he finally mm -hmm. got to resolve. They all got to resolve. Right? The doctor yeah. got to resolve his mm -hmm. dreams. Shoeless Joe Jackson got to resolve his Terrence. I think Terrence died, but you're right. He was happy. Um, he was happy, yeah. He like found his peace. Yes. Because he was, he was right again. He was, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Happy ending. Very happy ending. And they're gonna keep the farm. People will come I to know. relive their childhood. Yeah, that was really tender. I really like that. Are they gonna watch the ghosts? I think. Yeah. They'll see what they want to see. Yeah, I think you're right. They're coming to get what they need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was really good. I think two thumbs up for me. We have a new crush. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, young Kevin Costner. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. Really liked him. Mm -hmm. We might need to have a Kevin Costner. Joe Jackson scene. wasn't bad either. Yeah. <laughs> like, His eyes dad. were very pretty. Yeah. Just what we needed tonight. Mm -hmm. Very good, loved it. So heartwarming. Yes, exactly. Oh, and it was like perfect. I just love sports movies. They I just know. feel so I know. good. And I just, the players, the nostalgia from their glory days, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I feel that deeply. <laughs> <laughs> Living in your glory days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel that deeply. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching along with us. That was super fun. We'll have to do more sports movies, maybe more Kevin Costner movies. And we'll see you soon.